I think the real power of the D50 is, is in the kind of ambient sounds, you know, new agey, uh, more deeper techno or house music. Um, you know, you can make some really experimental sounds with it, uh, which you yeah, really cannot really get from like the usual analog uh, synthesizer. So that's very, uh, very interesting that Roland releases uh, a D50 boutique uh, thing because uh, yeah, it, it opens up like some more interesting sound uh, capabilities that are a little bit uh, further than the usual stuff. Yeah, well, the, the LA synthesis, like I call it, because uh, I like that name, because it's kind of like West Coast style, you know, LA. Um, well, the, the cool thing about it is that it basically it's a synthesizer with uh, four oscillators. They call it parts, but you basically have uh, four independent uh, yeah, sound generators, each with, it on, uh, each with its own uh, filter and envelope generators. So I'm gonna show you some uh, presets uh, or patches I made the, the last couple of days. It was a, a lot of fun to do because it's, uh, yeah, it's a very inspiring thing to, yeah, to design sounds. And uh, this patch I show here is called Dub Techno, but it's a kind of... Kind of a digital sounding, very splashy, uh, moody, yeah, dub techno sound, or how do, how do you call it, style, I don't know. And uh, for example, I can turn on the sequencer, and now it's just uh, repeating this loop. And now I can, for example, uh, go to the filter, and filter the sounds with this little joystick here. find the sweet spot of the sound, you know. And it's a, it's a very uh, kind of yeah, it, the filter is digital and you can really hear that it has a lot of uh, characteristic artifacts which make it a very... Uh, yeah, which gives it kind of this unique digital color, I guess. And, and of course when you record a track you can just slowly open it up, you know. Or you can just do that in the sequencer and uh, automate everything, you know. So that's a, a patch called uh, Dub Techno. And this is a sound uh, which uses the low frequency oscillator on the filter. So it's also the typical Roland sound piece, like. Sweet harmonic uh, square and saw waves. Um, this patch is called uh, Aegon Splendor, which is a typical um, kind of ambient new age sound I programmed. <laughs> This one is called Jazz Tapes and it's kind of a really like almost like a Mellotron sound. A very moody sound. 
sound and as you can hear uh, one key plays like four different uh, uh, pitches so it's like a, a chord on one key and um, yeah I'm gonna show you my filter trick because these are also uh, this sound is also made with digital waves and um, you can only filter the the square and saw wave which is kind of like an uh, analog uh, style uh, synthesizer which is the uh, uh, half of the synthesizer but the digital part yeah you cannot use the time variant filter on that but if you go to uh, the EQ because it also has a equalizer uh, built in in the yeah in the synthesis and uh, the e equalizer works on the digital part too so I can go here and put the Q of the filter really high to 6 and then the gain of the high frequency also to the max and then I should be able uh, if I change the it's, it's kind of like a filter effect you hear but you hear also these digital lo-fi artifacts like little digital clicks you know almost like a record player click or Basically, the DO5 is a, is a lot of fun because, yeah, uh, it's a lightweight, complete uh, Roland P50. Uh, can work on batteries. It has a built in speaker also. So you can uh, uh, be annoying in the, in the train or airplane. But you can, of course, connect headphones too. You see. And, uh, so, uh, yeah, I, uh, I also like the fact that uh, Roland uh, released uh, this kind of weird kind of forgotten digital synthesizer uh, especially in this uh, uh, current uh, marketing uh, or how do you call it uh, current synthesizer world where everything is very focused on analog stuff and uh, yeah so I, I hope we get to hear a little bit more exotic and colorful sounds from uh, these from this machine <laughs>